Hey there Shockers, welcome to Shamble Shock. Today we're going to show you how to make a breakfast burrito, which probably isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but it looks lovely, so I thought we'd give it a try. See you back in a minute. Hey there, welcome back. Right, we're going to show you how to make, as currently on TikTok, a breakfast burrito. Right, thank you all very much for being here. Uh, first things first, we crack a couple of eggs. Try to do the old faithful. This may go horribly wrong. One handed egg crack. Which didn't go too bad. Egg in the recycling bin and get the excess egg, which is now covering my hand, off it. We season our eggs, salt and pepper. A wee bit of pepper. A nice bit of salt. Come over here to our kitchen, get our egg whisk, and let's beat them up nicely. They're nicely beaten. Set that out of the way. There we heat our pan up. Nice sweet knob of butter. In there. And we melt our butter into the pan. That's our butter is melted. Today not burnt. We put our eggs in, and we cook the eggs. That's our butter that nicely melted now. Come on, you. There we go. It's nice. Eggs in. Two eggs there. Oh, let that there cook. What is that then cook? While they're cooking, we'll get ourselves some nice slice of bacon. Turn that down a bit. Chop up. Really, you can put sausage in here, you can put really anything at all you so please. I'm putting bacon because, well, I like bacon. That egg's cooking away nicely there. And just as the egg's about done, we get ourselves a drop. And we stick the wrap on top. And let that egg cook. It's going to take a few minutes. So while it's happening, the sauté is getting nice and warm. That egg should be right about as it cooked. It's really hard to tell if your egg's cooked when you've actually got a wrap set on top of it. Ooh. We'll try it. And of course we're going to try and turn it. Which I'm not guaranteeing will actually work. Because, well, I've never tried this here before. It's the first time we're doing it. Like yourselves, you have to try everything at least once. Get that in there, and we're going to try to flip it, if it hasn't. There we go, that's, that hasn't worked out too bad. So while that's there, as it turned over, we put our bacon in. Turn it down a bit, we don't want to murder them. Let's actually cut the bacon up. Put our bacon in the middle. A wee more bacon. You never have enough bacon. More bacon in there. Eat one. As well, good cast eat. Then we got a sprinkling of cheese. I'm, per, I'm using mature cheddar. What you use is already up to you. I'll put tomato in, might work. Put everything in here, so much. I put in a good bit of cheese. Let that melt down. That's melting away. And of course, because well, personal taste. 
nice generous portion of HP sauce. If you don't like HP sauce, because I know some people don't, should have opened here before I started. If you don't like HP sauce, you're wrong. That's awesome. Put a bit of HP sauce around it. There's nothing better for breakfast and a bit of HP. A little more pepper. Salt. And we're ready to serve up. So we pull it over. And again. A little more burnt than I would like, but hey, it's first time. First time for everything. Get us on the plate. And we'll serve it up. Well, I'll finish some crispy, but I think I really intend to plum. But now. Lovely. Right. Let's give it a go. You have to try this. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Hi guys. Well, as per usual, nothing goes according to plan. What I didn't know is that my camera was set to a function that cut off at a certain time. So we lost the end of that video. Unfortunately, the time I realised this is three days later. There is no more bacon, there's no more wraps, and there's no more eggs. We had breakfast burritos this morning again for lunch, and I must admit they're very, very enjoyable. But it does give me a chance to show off our nice merchandise, tell you again to make sure you subscribe so you don't want to miss any of our videos, and then see if we might actually get one right. And apologies again, but as you can see, we've made some improvements. The workbench has been oiled, so any spills won't stain it, won't mark it. That's nice and hygienic now. We've got ourselves a nice quiet cooker. And the feedback from the first video was that the gas heater I was using made a bit of noise. So we've even got a nice wee electric heater. So hopefully now we're making things better as we go. If you want to see anything, if you think anything's wrong, you think we're doing anything right, subscribe, like, let us know down in the comments below. Thanks very much, Shockers. We'll see you again next time.